All right, guys, um, I have been working on gathering um, iron and stuff, and I got the ground is shaking event. So that means we're under troll attack. But look at <laughs> look at that, man. They're all just stuck. Oh, they're hitting that now, aren't they? Okay, so let's um let's go after this closest one here. Oh no, they destroyed my boat. I had just finished unloading it too. Okay. Well, that's not good. And this guy's actually in the yard now. Got a crit on him. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, I just brought back a huge load of iron in my longboat. Um, okay, so, yeah, we'll have to, uh, maybe rethink this here. The funny thing is, is they're going back in the water here, so... Don't ruin my other boat, you jackass. Right in the noggin. It still kind of... It still kind of works a little bit, though. You know what we could do is maybe make a stone wall, because we can actually make stone. I just haven't really had a reason to yet. Um, so we can maybe make that a stone wall, or we could just see if we can continue raising it up as ground, because I don't think they can do any damage to the ground. I know they can to stone, but it's going to last a little bit longer than... Uh... <laughs> they pulverize that. It's going to last a little bit longer than, um... Uh... What am I trying to say? Oh, the palisade walls. Okay. So, yeah, I'm glad I, I'm glad we got the iron unloaded. Looks like we still have some... loot in here. Oh, that's just a dwarf. Oh, good. So I can recover those two things. I keep those in the hole in case I need to set up a portal somewhere. That was a, so that was the very first troll attack that I've had. Um, so fortunately, they didn't do any damage to the base. It sucks that we lost our longboat, though. Um, that's going to cost us... Uh, well, I guess it's only going to cost us 10 iron for the 100 nails. So that's not super expensive, but it still sucks because iron is such a pain in the butt to get. So, all right. Well... I, I'm honestly, I'm thinking the easiest thing to do is just go get a whole shitload of stone and just extend the wall out as an earth wall even further. Because, you know, the, you know, even the one that got around, for whatever reason, his AI went back into the water that way and I was easily able to kill him. So uh, I still think this design overall is... is you know, is pretty good. Oh, man, that sucks that <laughs> we lost our log ship, though. <sighs> All right, well, it is what it is, right? Better to lose the long ship than to lose the entire base, so... Um, all right, so let me show you what we got going on here. Uh, I have all of this iron here that I've hauled back, uh, plus um, some iron that I've already put in the forges that are currently cooking up. Uh, so what I've done is I've... Uh, let me see here. Uh, so we mined everything from here, and then I just stored everything in a uh, a chest next to a portal that I have um, a moat around so the monsters couldn't get to it. And then I found uh, another crypt here, and this was actually a very profitable crypt. There was like three or four chests in here that were loaded with iron, so I pulled a crap ton of iron out of here. Um, and I think... I think that's all... Yeah, that's all I've done. The other thing I've done is I've sailed around the entire island. I finally mapped the perimeter of this island, and it is enormous. Um, just a gigantic island. Um, and so what I did was I I took the longboat to here, mined this up, and then I took it around and picked up the iron here, and then I sailed all the way around here to map out the perimeter, and then came back through my... Panama Canal and sailed down here. When I got to about this point right in here, I actually saw a sea monster, but fortunately the wind was in my favor, so I was able to outrun it. Um, 
And then, uh, yeah, then we came home. Uh, it was it was storming when I pulled into the to our little harbor there, so you know I kind of jacked up the <laughs> the parking job, but uh, uh, you know, and then I unloaded it, and then as soon as I unloaded it, I got the ground to shaking message, and that's when I started the recording. So anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think that uh, one of you guys were suggesting maybe putting some spikes out here. Oh, we got all this stuff down here. It's too deep for me to reach. I can kind of, almost kind of pick it up, a little bit of it. Um. Anyway, yeah, some some of you guys were suggesting putting spikes out here, so we could maybe try something like that. What we could maybe do is raise the ground up to more or less the ground uh, or the water surface level. And then put a bunch of spikes on there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that would work or not. I'm not really sure. But anyway, yeah, I'll I'll work on that some more, and um, continue smelting this iron. <coughs> We've got a lot of iron to smelt, and you know, once I get the iron completely smelted, then I'll bring you guys back at that point, and we will um, we'll decide, you know, what else we're going to make new and then what we're going to upgrade um and of course we're gonna have to make a new long ship too so anyway yep that's where we're at okay i'll catch you guys in a bit all right guys i just noticed something my um whoops i didn't mean to do that my nails and i think bark are down at the bottom of the of the little bay there uh but that's water's actually really deep so i wonder if we can do this Oh, okay, so we got the deer hide. All right, if we can grab those nails, I mean, I don't know if that's going to give me all of my nails back, but if we can get some of them back, that would be great. Let's try that again. Maybe we'll jump off the wall this time. Okay, here we go. We got them. <laughs> that's awesome. We got all 100 of our iron nails back. The rest of the stuff's not that big of a deal. Um, in fact... I recovered the, um, I recovered all, most or all of the fine wood, too, when I was swimming around there earlier. Oh, man, that's fantastic. Okay. So this actually wasn't that bad of a loss after all, because, yeah, it's, again, it was the nails that was the most expensive thing. Um, let's see if we can grab some of this, too. Okay. We can grab some of it from here. Not that I necessarily need any more troll hide. I got tons of it, but I mean, since it's here, we might as well try and get it, right? Uh, okay. Oh man, I'm happy that we got the our nails back. Um, I'm gonna probably redo the docking situation with the longboat though, because it's just uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get it in here. Um, what I think we should probably do. Um, if we could extend this out a little further, we could move the carve over to this side. Um, probably. I mean, we could we could probably break that rock down enough to where it wouldn't be a problem. And then park the carve in here and then have the longboat park in here and I can move that core wood log out. Uh, well, we probably don't even need the core wood log, really. Yeah, I'm thinking that might be the, the better way to handle that. I don't know why I'm bothering repairing this dock. It's just going to get all messed up again. Um, okay, so... Yeah, why don't, why don't we do that? Um, here, let's see if I can jump down and get more of this. <laughs> I We really should be able to dive in this game. I, I don't know. I, I mean, maybe, maybe that's something the devs will add to the game later. It doesn't make sense why we can't dive underwater. I don't get it. Especially, you know, when stuff falls to the bottom like this. There we go. We got all of the hide. Alright, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the carve over to this side. I mean, that rock could actually be beneficial because it could 
kind of hold it in place. The only problem with that, though, is that, uh, uh, you know, it could bang into it and cause a little bit of damage, but... See, that's two blocks wide, right? Let's try something here. If we go up here... Oh, I gotta... Hold on, I gotta get... Excuse me. And that save thing is sure a pain in the butt. Uh, I gotta get another batch of coal and uh, ore going here first. So let me do that real quick. Let's go ahead and put two more of these in place. So that it's even with that. And then what I'm going to do is put a core wood log here. Except for I want it to go down uh, in the water. Um, is that touching the ground? Yeah, it is. Okay, so it'll provide... Actually, I wonder if we could get away with a short log for that. Let's try a shorter one. Just as long as it's touching the ground, it'll be fine. And let's go with the shorty. There we go. And that should be touching. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Now what we'll do is we'll come back this way. And we'll grab a long core wood and do the same thing here that we did before. Go away, Grey Dwarf. Um, there we go. So do we need to remove this rock or can we just do this yeah see I don't even think we need to remove the rock for the carve that should work great and the and the log you know will presumably protect it from banging into it now let's move the carve over uh, to the other side here That is so awesome that we were able to recover all of our mats. If your ship went down at sea, though, you'd be hosed. <laughs> all right. Let's get over that way and then slow her down. I don't want to go too fast. I'm starting to get the hang of sailing. Really enjoy it. It's a lot, a lot of fun. We're going to tag the end of the corner there, but... Oh, maybe not. Okay. Whoops, yeah, we backed that up, or banged into that a little bit, but that's okay. Um, let's back it up just a little bit and see if we can straighten her out. Um, no. Oh, yeah, we want to go that way. I think that's pretty good. I think that is pretty darn good. So we got a new home for the carve, and now what we're going to do is we're going to park the longboat in alongside the dock here. And can't we could even extend this dock out a little more, I think. Let's see what the SI looks like. Yeah, see it's getting a little, little weak sauce out here, but we could go at least that much further out. In fact, we could probably do one more. Um, or, I don't know if the core wood poles can reach all the way down here. All the way down to the bottom of the, of the water. Yeah, see, they don't want to go down. Alright, let's try this. It almost looked like it snapped there for a second. 
I think that's I think it's too deep here. Um if I do that, does it Let's just see if that actually touched. Can't hit him when he's down low like that. Oh, unless we use this. <laughs> okay, so the question now is, is that actually touching? Uh, I guess we could tell if we... It looks blue. So, yeah, I think... Here, let's just check it out. Yeah, can't really tell. Pretty sure that's touching though. All right, if we um, if we do this, see how that's green? That means that it is touching, because otherwise it would be red, uh, or at least yellow. So I think that worked. So now what we're gonna do is put that guy in, and put that guy in. And then let's do the same thing here. Go out this way. Uh, oh, no, we need to go out this way. Okay, it's going to be hard, though, to line that up perfectly unless we... What if we did this? It's all about just trying to figure it out. I'm going to have to eyeball this. I think that's pretty close there. Oh yeah, that was like really close. <laughs> Look at that. That was like total total luck there. Excellent. Okay, so we got the dock out further. Um, I think that's plenty far uh, for the longboat. The long it doesn't have to be the entire length of the longboat. Okay, now this is going to be too uh, too narrow for the longboat. So let's get that out of the way. Need some more turnips too. I've got. A bazillion turnips now, which is a good problem to have. So let's put the longboat in, and then we'll see, you know, how wide we need to go with the other side. Uh, oh, and it's time to redo all these guys, too. Okay, so, um, what do we need, again, for the boat for... Uh, we need 40 fine wood and 40 bark. Okay. 40 fine wood. We've got the uh, the chains and uh, the hide. Okay, and we're good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this in the water. Okay, and right about there. Oh man, I'm so, I know I keep saying this, but I'm so glad we were able to remake this for free. Um, we got all of our mats back, which is nice. Oh, okay, yeah, this thing's pretty doggone wide. Um, we, if we're gonna put in a, another, like a core wood log, it's gonna probably have to go all the way to the edge of there. Um, I mean, I'm, we could move it over a little closer to this dock, but we want to have a little bit of wiggle room, too, so. Yeah, I think I think that's probably what we should do. I mean, we could do it here, but that's going to be really tight getting in there. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think we should take it out from here. Now, we could even just do it as another dock like this. Uh, 
I mean, we don't really need to, though, because we only need to get off on one side. The only reason I, I'm, I would put that there is just to keep it from, you know, if we get a big storm in, drifting out a little bit, because it does do that. I know it's technically anchored when you're not in it, but it still does drift a little bit. I've seen it multiple times now. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's actually go to bed. Uh, but before we go to bed, we want to make sure that the forges are like completely full so we get everything done. So this is all we have left to smelt other than what's in there. And then, then we'll have a nice little chunk of iron that we can do stuff with. Uh, but what I want to do right now is I want to grab another stack of core wood here. And let's go down to the dock. Okay, I'm just trying to think if I want to put, I don't want to slam the bow into the, into this rock here. So what if we did something like this? Okay, hold on a sec. How deep is this here? Man, I am... I'm about ready to install Valheim Plus just so that it, I can do stuff when I'm in the water. It's so irritating that you can't... Did that just snap for a second there? You know, that you lose all ability to use tools and and build when you as soon as your feet leave the the ground in the water i thought for a second there it looked like it snapped oh yeah right there okay cool all right i don't really like this is sticking out but i guess i can't do much about that so if we put another long piece in here and then we put a long piece here There we go. I mean, the bow could still probably... Eh, no, I don't think it will hit the, hit the hit the ground there, the rock. It will be okay. I mean, I know it can still take damage hitting the the log too, but I just, I don't know. It feel If this was a real life situation, having that big jagged rock right there where the bow's gonna be, you need some kind of a bumper. I guess that's what I'm trying to accomplish here, is, is a bumper. <laughs> Okay. Um, might even look better to to put some boards in here. Do I have normal wood? I don't. Let's go get some normal wood. Yeah, I don't. I don't like this gap here. So let's go ahead and uh, fill it in. Whoops. Now, do we want to do the same thing here just so everything's even, Steven? I think we do. There we go. We could even put a bumper in here just for good measure. We don't need to, but let's just do it anyway. What the hell, right? Let's just do it anyway. How did that miss? All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to extend this out. Uh, I'm probably going to have to get on the, the ship, actually, to do that, which we can do. There we go. Oh, yeah, we're going to need a support. I think that's probably going to collapse. Is it? Well, here, let's try it. If it collapses, it collapses. Yep, okay. So let's uh, do an upright here. Okay, this is going to be another I have to eyeball it situation. Right there. And then let's 
Let's see if we can get a shorty. Yeah. There we go. That works. Okay, now let's do another long one. Whoop. Oh, out of core wood. Or not enough core wood, anyway. Wait, really? No, we got tons of core wood. What the hell? Oh, workbench. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Okay, so if we want to bring this out any further, we don't necessarily need to, though. Because it's even with this now. Um, if we did bring it out further, I would also want to bring the dock here out further. So let's look at that for a second. Here, let's just do this. Oh, yeah, we need a workbench out here. Okay, let's, um... And we don't have enough wood. <laughs> Never enough wood. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna let you guys go here for a bit. Um, I'm gonna f I'm gonna extend try and extend that out one more length and this out to be even with it if I can. Um, and then I'm gonna finish smelting all the rest of the iron. When that's done, I'll bring you back and then we'll uh, upgrade our current gear and maybe make a couple more pieces. All right, so I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I have, as you can see, built the the little stone, uh, well, actually earthen wall out quite a bit further uh, than it was before. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I'm trying to get some spikes attached to this very end here, but it won't it won't let me do it. I, I could put some there um, and some there and then some on the end, as you can see. But um, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to go in this spot here. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I thought maybe at first maybe they need to be a certain distance apart, but even before this, these two spikes were done, I still couldn't put these here uh, this far out. So I don't know, maybe it has something to do with being on the very end, uh, which is kind of a bummer, but because I would have liked to have had it all the way, you know, as far out as possible. But maybe, you know, maybe at least these here will, will help uh, if... Uh, a troll or something tries, you know, tries to get around here. But I mean, this was really deep water here, so I'd be really unless trolls can swim. Um, that's probably deeper than you know a troll is tall. I'm thinking. Um, so I mean, we won't know for sure until you know the next troll attack that we get. But uh, hopefully, this will this will work. Um, if gray dwarfs try and swim this far out, you know, then hopefully they'll be stupid and they'll run into these spikes when they try and go around the corner. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and pull this up. And I finished the, the dock, as you can see there. It was a little tricky trying to get the pylons in, down, but I finally managed uh, to make it work. Um, this last one here, you know, because that water's so deep right there. Had to, I had to bring one over from the dock, uh, a horizontal one that was about halfway down, and then attach one to that, and then kind of jury-rig <laughs> another one uh, up against that, but then all the way down to the surface to finally get that in place. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out as well. We are uh, finished now with our, uh, our iron smelting. So we're going to take a look at that next, but I'm also going to need uh, to do the same thing here uh, on this little wall as well. So we're pretty much just going to pull all of this stuff up and then do the same thing. And, you know, as we got deeper in the water, it started going, you know, tapering down further too, which was kind of interesting. But um, so uh, let I'll, I'll take care of this off camera, though. I'll take care of that. I'm going to basically do the same thing that I did out there on this side, too. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what we're going to do next with iron. i got to tell you guys, man, I, I probably already mentioned this once or twice, but gathering iron is a, is a chore. My goodness, is it ever a chore. All this iron that you see here, 
represents several hours of real life time <laughs> gathering that up putting it in my ship hauling it back almost getting attacked by a sea monster in the process um if that sea monster would have caught me i would have been rage quit time well not really but i would have been pissed <laughs> if that would have happened so my goodness okay let's take a look and see are there other things we want to make first um i'm kind of, i'd kind of like to try out the battle axe um I wonder if you can use this to cut wood too because it would be nice to not have to carry uh the axe you know free up a slot so i don't know about that so let's consider that um i don't think i'm gonna go for the at gear it's not a bad weapon it really isn't but i don't think i'm gonna go for that uh, I don't really see much point in doing another iron axe. I mean, the bronze axe just, just does fine for cutting wood. This is probably going to cut wood a little bit faster, but considering how precious iron is, I don't know that I want to spend money on that. Or, well, spend money, but you know what I mean. Um, what else could we do? Uh, we've already done the sledge. We could do a sword, I guess. See, that has 55 slash compared to the two-handed axe that has 75 slash but this has a 20 percent movement speed penalty and it's probably a lot slower so if the one-handed axe is twice twice as fast as this it's going to do 25 percent more dps or or damage overall or you know if, if that makes sense i don't know if this has some kind of an AOE attack, though, that would be nice, too. It's just that, man, I don't want to spend 35 iron making this just to find out I don't really like it that much as a thing. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'm not really interested in the spear or the tower shield, because you can't parry it with the tower shields. So, I think we've, you know, made, uh, other than maybe, you know, the big axe, I think we've made just about um, everything that we need to make in terms of weapons and tools um, now we can also you know we can make arrows of course um, and we can also start thinking about making the larger uh, storage bins these guys a personal chest see these these only require two iron and you know fine wood which isn't a big deal so they're not that expensive to make um raven throne this must be something you can lock on a multiplayer server i'm guessing you know they should have we should be able to make a nicer bed in this game maybe you can and i just haven't uncovered uh, discovered it yet well, I think at this point in time, um, oh, we wanted to make, did, didn't we already make the smith sandal? We haven't made the smith sandal. Yeah, we should make that so we can get this upgraded to the next level. So let's, let's definitely do that. Uh, okay, what's that cost again? Uh, that's 20 iron and 5 wood. Uh, all right, yeah, let's do that. So, 20 iron and 5 wood. Okay, and then we should be able to just put this right here, and it'll still reach over. I don't like it snapping. Here, can I hold shift? Nope, it still wants to do a little snap-a-doodle thing. Well, that's fine. We'll just put it right there. Okay, cool. So now this is a level... Uh, what level is this workstation? It's either a 4 or a 5. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a 5. It tells us it right up here. Okay, cool. So that's going to allow us to do some nice upgrades. All right, now the first thing... Uh, I think what we're going to do, guys, is I think we're just going to upgrade... Uh, what we currently have um, as opposed to making anything new and I'll 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 see if I can read up on the battle axe um, or you guys can tell me in the comments if you've had experience with it and let me know if you think 
it's worth having. Um, the iron sledge, you know, I mean, we need to upgrade it, of course, but it doesn't quite do as much damage on direct hits as I think that it should. It's got the nice AOE for sure, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but we should, you know, we'll get it upgraded, so. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get our bow upgraded first. We're going to just kind of do everything systematically. We'll get everything to two, and then we'll start going to three, and then we'll start going to four if we can, etc., etc. Uh, so we need fine wood, iron, feathers, and deer hide for that. Uh, I don't know. Remember how much it said. So fine wood. Uh, whoops. Feathers. Oh, you know what? We might have to go back to... Oh, I've got copper. Oh, that's right. That copper is supposed to be for... Um, um, a, f a uh, whatchamacallit, a forge when we're out and about. Just a temporary forge. How much did it say we needed? Oh, we need two deer hide. All right, I gotta go run back to... I gotta run back to the other base and get some deer hide because I don't have enough. So let's just throw all that stuff back in there. Okay. So we need that. We needed the fine wood. Upgrade and bow. Oh, 10 iron. Okay, cool. So we got that upgraded. Now it does uh, 45 pierce. I think it was 40 or 42 before. I can't remember. I should have checked, but I didn't. Okay, the iron mace just requires 10 iron. So get that upgraded. We already have the iron pickaxe upgraded. And then the sledge is going to take 15 iron, 2 bark, and some more emir flesh. All right, let's... Uh, Actually, you know what? Uh, before. Do we want to upgrade that sledge? Let's look at it again. I'm not 100% convinced I like the sledge, to be honest with you guys. Because right now it does 55 blunt. So if we upgrade it, it's going to do 61 blunt. So that's only six more points of damage. does upgrade the durability and all the other stuff to the parry force is 60 knockback is still 200 that's one of the bigger things about this weapon that's good oh boy i don't know do we want to uh, let's hold off on it let's do the armor let's do the armor next and we'll we'll see where we're at after we get the critical stuff to level three uh before we look at that okay uh so we need eight and 20 fine wood for the banded shield. Alright, so 8 iron. We already have the fine wood. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. Oh, I just upgraded my scale mail. That's right, I was planning on doing that anyway. Okay, so we need 10 for the iron greaves. Uh, nope, don't craft. Upgrade. Okay, let's do the shield like we were originally planning on doing. Okay, the helmet requires 10 iron. Oh, I guess I already had it. Upgrade helmet. The iron mace requires 20. So that's now level 3. Um, I don't think I'm going to upgrade the iron pickaxe. I'm just going to leave that at two. So, uh, and we're not, I'm not going to upgrade the bronze pickaxe either. Yeah, or the bronze axe. Huntsman's bow. That's what we want to do. Okay, so we need 10 fine wood and 20 iron and 4 deer hide. I think that's everything we need. Upgrade Huntsman's Bow. Oh, 20 iron. 
goes fast, man. It really goes fast. Upgrade. Okay, so that went from 45 to 48. So now all of our equipment, except for the sledge, all of our combat equipment, I should say, is upgraded to level 3. And we have 21 iron left. So, um, we could go ahead and upgrade this. Um, or we could upgrade this to level four. Uh, well, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade the sledge, I guess. Or do we want to... Or do we want to make the battle axe and just try it? What do we need to make that again? Oh, we need 35 iron. Gosh dang, that thing's expensive iron-wise. We don't even have enough iron to do that now. Um, alright, well... Decisions, decisions. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the sledge. And then, you know, we're gonna have to do another big old round of iron gathering. Uh, to get all of our stuff to level 4. Uh, but what I'm probably going to do is get all of my main combat equipment. Not necessarily the sledgehammer, but the armor and the shield and the handheld mace. Uh, up to 4 before we attempt um, bone mass. So, alright. Let's look again. What did we need for that upgrade for the sledge? Oh, we need to go buy 2 Emir Flesh. That's what we need to do. So let's put this back in here for the moment. Put all that stuff. Well, no, not that stuff. Throw that in there. Let's grab stuff to sell, which is all of this. And we'll also grab some co some coin. And let's go see see the trader. Let me know what you guys think about the, the iron sledge in the comments. I might have already asked you that in the last episode, but... Uh, I haven't uh, <clears throat> seen your comments on that one yet. Okay, so let's sell everything, and then let's buy... We needed two of these, right? Okay. Good enough. Thank you, Mr. Trader. All right, and then I, I think it said we needed, like... Was it two ancient bark, I think? Okay, Iron Sledge. Alright, so that's now at level 2. Alright, so the priority is going to be now um, getting the armor to 4. So let's see, we need 15, 30, 60 for the bow, 75, uh, 105. And, oh, we can't upgrade this anymore. Okay, so to get everything else upgraded to four, except for the iron sledge, we need 105 more iron. Why don't we turn the rest of these into iron arrows? Uh, do I want to do that? Maybe not. Maybe not at this point. Let's just hang on to this for now. Let's just hang on to it. Okay. Uh, so let's re-equip our stuff. There we go. All right, so looks like I have more iron gathering in my near future <laughs> to get all of our stuff to level four. Um, and I, there are no more swamps on our island unless unless there's one like hidden in this fog of war area. But I mean, there's a mountain here for sure, and there's a mountain here, so it's very unlikely that there's swamps in those areas. 
so what I might end up do, doing is jumping in the longboat, grabbing stuff I need to make a portal, and sail down to where Bone Mass is and set up a portal. And in the process of doing that, hopefully we can um, find another swamp. In fact, Bone Mass is probably in a swamp the more that I think about it. So, yeah. So I think that's what we're going to do. And um, probably do most, if not all of that, off camera. Because it's just going to be me sailing in a boat to get down there to set up a portal. And then gathering more iron when we find more swamps. So yeah, that is it. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.